Students at Rutgers University are shaken by a string of robberies on and near the New Brunswick campus. One student was held at gunpoint, another violently beaten. CBS 2's Matt Kozar has the story, new at 6. The search is on for these two men who Rutgers University police say beat up and robbed a student on campus 10 days ago before using his credit cards at a convenience store in Woodbridge. They say the suspects drove a brown BMW. It's the second robbery within nearly a week. We got an alert last night about a uh, armed robbery. Last night, an attempted armed robbery at the intersection of Union and Mine Streets. Rutgers police say a man with a gun approached a student walking along Mine Street and demanded cash and valuables, but the student said he didn't have anything, so the man took off running. The student was not hurt. Investigators say the suspect is a heavyset man with a medium complexion and has spiked brown hair with facial hair. They say he wore a white long sleeve shirt, had a deep voice, and was seen driving a white SUV. When I got the crime alert yesterday, I was actually, and it said my street, I was like, oh, whoa, that's like right where I live. It's a little bit. Um, scarier because it's an armed robbery. A Rutgers spokesman tells CBS2 campus police are increasing patrols along College Avenue. Students we talk to say the university has done a better job of informing them of crimes in the area since the murder of 22-year-old William McCaw. In February, his body was found in the backyard of an off-campus house. He'd been beaten to death. I think you can sign up for text alerts now, too, on top of the email alerts, so... It's, I think the university does a good job of keeping their students informed. Keeping students safe on a campus of more than 40,000. In New Brunswick, New Jersey, Matt Kozar, CBS 2 News. It's unclear if the robberies are connected. Rutgers police are asking students to walk in groups and avoid isolated areas, especially at night.